Okay, so now we're gonna talk about emergency trach change. Some reasons that you're going to emergently need to tra change a trach would be obstruction, malfunction, dislodgement, or sometimes um, if a patient has severe airway swelling, you're gonna have to put a half smaller size down instead of the regular size trach. So the signs that your trach is like displaced or there's an obstruction is the patient has cyanosis, increased work of breathing, you hear strider, obviously if they're attached to a vent and the vent starts alarming, and then one of the late signs is bradycardia. Um, supplies that you should have at the bedside at all times, all these supplies should be in your emergency transport bag. So if a patient comes in with this bag, these supplies should be in there. Um, so that would be something like a uh, self-inflating bag, oxygen, obviously, suction, appropriate size um, French for um, inline suctioning, shoulder roll, um, new um, trach ties, um, same size trach and a half size down. Something that's very important that we should actually be pulling out of that emergency tra or transport bag is um, something that we should be putting in a bag that's closer to their, the head of the bed so that in case the trach becomes dislodged or we need to replace it very fast, these are readily available. You don't have to be digging through your bag. So you're gonna want the same size trach in this little bag. So this is a 3.0, we're gonna want a 3.0. You can unwrap um, it, but just make sure it's in the bag so it stays sterile. You want a syringe you want lubrication, and then um, you want Velcro ties. It also says you need an obturator, but the obturator is already in the trach, so as long as you leave it in the box like this, it should be in there. The first type of trach change we're gonna talk about is when a patient becomes decannulated. Okay. So decannulation happens um, mostly with like our younger kids who are moving around a lot, um, a lot of times our almost home kids, just because they are so active, um, they just completely pull their trach out um, so everyone runs in and since you're going to have your supply bag of the things that you need the most by your bedside, like Kelsey was telling us, um, we're going to use that bag. So you're going to grab that bag of supplies. You're going to put a shoulder roll under the patient's neck. Um, what the shoulder roll does is it allows the patient to extend the neck and that also extends the stoma. So it's easier to, um, put the trach back in. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the the same size trach that the patient had before. So in this case, it's the 3.0. Um, so we're gonna get the 3.0 and we're gonna lubricate the end of it and just put the trach back in. And as soon as that happens, you decannulate right away. So the next type of um, emergency trach change would be um, when the trach is obstructed or malfunctioning. Um, obviously, if the patient is having um, signs of respiratory distress, you're gonna try and bag the patient, you're gonna try and suction. If you can't do both or either, they're going to need uh, a trach change. Um, so first, you're going to um, un-Velcro, untie the, the trach ties. And it's best to do this with two people so that one person keep the trach um, in the, the correct spot while you're getting the other um, trach ready. Hold that. So then keep the trach in place until you have your next one ready. You're going to lubricate the end of the same size trach. Take that one out and then put this one in right away, obviously taking the obturator out, um, securing it, and then checking for placement um, by doing, um, making sure there's chest rise, auscultating, and making sure it can suction. Um, the thing to remember, um, if it is a trach, this is an uncuffed trach. So if, there, if the patient has a trach that is cuffed, you're going to have to make sure that the cuff is deflated before you can take out the trach. So in this case, if this baby had this trach, see how this is um, expanded? This means that it is cuffed. So you cannot pull this trach out because it would get stuck and ruin the airway. So before you take it out, you're going to want to deflate the cuff with a syringe, pull it back. When it's deflated when this is flat. So then you unscrew it and now you can safely take out the trach. When you put that new trach in, you can keep the same syringe that you used to deflate the previous trach and then use that same solution or use the amount. This is about 1.6 and you can use that amount to put in the same amount to um, inflate it. your new trach. Just remember, um, bavona is with water. Um, so if it is a bavona, you're gonna have to have water inside your um, bag. If it's a Shiley, it's with air, but still you're gonna have to need a syringe. Um, if you're doing a non-emergency trach change or you're doing any kind of like dressing changes, trach ties, um, there is a huge, um, really informational uh, policy on the All Connect you can take a look at in case this is not an emergency situation. You can kind of go through and it's always better to do it with two people.
And then we also have the fast facts that we have on All Connect as well. The fast facts for emergency management of trachs.